everybody, it's Jo. Thanks for joining me again today. So today I was going to create a card, but I have no idea at all um, what I'm going to create. But I do have this really nice new, ultra new um, little set. So this is a blossoming bouquet set. It has a press plate, it has dies, an embossing folder and a stencil set. And this looked really nice just using the stencil. I haven't used the stencil yet. But what I really wanted to share with you today was the press plates. So if you don't have a press plate system, I don't have the better press, best, better, oh gosh, say that a few times, better press, press plate system. I don't have one of those. I do have a foiling machine. I have my Couture Creations foiling machine. So you can foil these press plates. But did you know that you can also use these dies in your standard die cutting machine? So I thought I would show that to you today. But before I go ahead and do that, just a disclaimer. I've only found this by playing around with my machine. So you need to be careful if you're using your machine that you don't break your machine. Um, you need to be aware that if you overstuff your machine, you can break your machine. But I wanted to show you a little workaround that has worked for me. So if you're not comfortable putting your die cutting machine through its paces, then this might not be the technique for you. But I just wanted to show you something that I have come up with to be able to use these Breda Press plates. So the Better Press plates, there's a few companies that do them now. Alton, you do them. Spellbinders and Pink Fresh have some beautiful ones as well. But the different the difference is that you have all these beautiful fine details and um, you don't always get those fine details with a stamp. So not only does this plate look beautiful foiled, I'm going to show you how I can use it as a, um, as a stamp and still get a similar look to your better press system. So that was a lot of talking, enough talking, more playing. So what I'm going to do first is I have my plates. Now I am using an electric machine. I have the Go Power and Emboss and I also have the handheld um, Couture Creations machine as well. So the plates that I am using may be different to the plates that you need but I'm just going to say again you want to be really careful that you're not pushing anything through your machine. If at all it feels like your machine isn't going to take that sandwich don't push it through okay so I use my electric machine because if it's not going to fit my electric my electric machine just won't take it um, so I'm using the smaller plates in my bigger machine so I have my big spacer plate here I then have a B plate which is the thinner one that I use for embossing I have a second B plate and I also have one of these latex mats and I'm not sure, but um, I think a little while ago that you could get the mats, you could buy the mats separately. And in some cases, um, the mats are included when you purchase a machine, but you, these are readily available. So what I'm going to do first, um, just to protect, protect, she says, look at the state of this. Anyway, but just to protect the base of this a little bit, I'm just going to pop a little bit of scratch paper on the back here so that when I'm inking up my plate, it's going onto the scratch paper. So here's our better press plate. And I have to say, this is one thing I love, how it's on this paper. This is cool, because you don't mess up anything then, you're not ripping anything. So having a look, when you run your hands over this, or your fingers over this, it almost has like a rubbery feel. It's definitely different to your hot foil plates. So it's a bit rough, so the ink sits on top. So I'm going to pop this down on my plate. Like I said, I have no idea at all um, on how this card, even if I do get a card done, but how placement on this card is going to work. I really just wanted to show you how you can use this and get a very similar effect. So I'm using the Ultra New inks and I'm using a water-based ink so that I can clean my plate. So this is probably the closest that I have to black. This is pure graph, pure, oh goodness, no eyes, pure graphite, graphite. You could use any color you want, but I just figured this one would be nice and easy for you to see the detail. 
So I'm going to just ink this up as you would with your better press system. So you also want to bear in mind that obviously with the better press system, you've got the magnet underneath, so nothing's moving. So you just need to be a little bit careful. Like I said, this isn't how these plates are intended to be used. This is just a little workaround that I have found. And I can see I have some ink in here. Let's see if we can, I might try and see if I can just rub that out. Let's see how we go. Oops. So you want to make sure that you've got some really good coverage. And because I don't really know um, how this is going to display on my card, I'm instead of using a card panel, I'm just going to use a bigger piece of card over the top so I can then cut it down to the size that I want. So this is where you need to be a little bit careful, obviously with your better, pre better press, oh my goodness, better press system, you've got paper stuck to the top of plates and you've got the magnetic piece underneath as well. We don't have that here. Before I do this, I am just going to slide a B plate underneath here. That's better. Right, so we have spacer plate or our platform plate. I have a B plate. I have my scrap paper so that my plate doesn't get messy. Then I have what I'm going to press onto. I'm going to let that just sit on top without trying to touch it too much. I then have my latex mat. I then have my next B plate. So I'm going to try and hold this all together and now I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine. So just give me a couple of seconds while I run this through. So that's the part where you want to be a little bit careful. If at all you feel like you are forcing anything at all, you don't want to push it through. Okay. So now, again, needing to be a little careful pulling this all off so it doesn't smudge. You can see here, this has given a really nice impression. And there is our press plate pressed into our cardstock. This cardstock is just the regular cardstock that I use, the Francheville 300 GSM cardstock. But you can see, I don't know if you can see from the front here, but definitely from the back, you can see how that has impressed it into the card. So you can use these plates with your normal die cutting machine. Like I said, I just want to reiterate as well um, with the whole using your die, die cutting machine. If you're happy to play around with it, go for it. If you're scared that you're going to break your machine and that then means that your warranty won't be valid, don't do it. But I have, I'm have i quite happy to put my machine through its paces. It's an old machine. I'm happy to give it a go. Um, and I figured, my thinking was, I'm only using plates that I would normally use. These plates are possibly just a little bit thinner than a die or maybe even the same um, thin or thickness as a die. So I didn't feel like I was putting any extra pressure work on my machine. So that was my rationale behind it. I really just wanted to let you know that because I don't want everybody using it and um, stuffing up their machines. So just to clean this now, because this is just a water-based ink, I'm just going to add a little bit of water to it and a cloth. You can also use your stamp cleaning um, stamp cleaners as well. I'm just going to give it a wipe off. And then your press plate is good to go again. So shall I finish this card off? This might be tricky because I have no idea where this is going to go. But hey, let's have a play. Are you happy to stick around and see where this ends up? 
it's been a little while since I've had a play, so I think I might just I might just carry on. So this is actually quite a um, a large plate. This is going to take up. Oh yeah, this is going to take up the whole of my card front. Um, I might keep this simple, and I think I might just cut this down with a die. I might do the stenciling first. See, I told you I have no idea here. So this, this is a stencils. need some brushes sorry just bear with me for a second I have right are we close oh there we go we look like we're pretty close here right so you can see this line here around here actually it is yep so where this line is here just what's on the top of this part relates to this first part of the image. So let me quickly, I'm not going to overthink any of this. I'm just going to grab inks and go for it. Let's just start with pink. Like I said, I really just wanted to share with you that little workaround for the um, press plates because these press plates are, um, they're just beautiful. There's so much detail in them. The other thing I'm thinking here is, as well is I actually haven't given this a lot of time to dry this ink. So we may get a little bit of um, smudging. Okay. There we go. So that's a first one a1 we've got a2 here um, okay there we go A3, so that must be this bit here, yep. This is the first time I've used this stencil set and um, it is a really easy stencil to line up so far. So it has been a little while since I've done a video. We, um, we lost my husband's dear old mum a couple of weeks ago, so Life's just been a little bit tricky to navigate, but um, yeah, she was 92, it was her time, um, so we're just all coming up for air now, so um, that's where I've been lately. I haven't had much time to craft, so I've been really wanting to um, have a little bit of a play. There we go, so there is our first stencil. Here's our second one. So this is the greens. Again, I'm not overthinking anything. I'm just, oh gosh, it's stuck. Just grabbing, grabbing colours here. Which way are we going? There we go. Okay, so that's pretty good. That's going to match up all of those leaves. So this is the Fresh Leaf ink. The other one I used was the Mauve. So you can probably tell here I'm not really being particularly careful with the colouring. Mind you, there's so much detail in these plates that um, it actually uh, makes your colouring 
a little less, um, you don't need to be as perfect, I suppose, is what I'm thinking. Okie dokie, let's have a look. Oh, so pretty. Okay, so we've got, we've got these little bits here. Maybe we will go with a deeper pink, maybe? Or should we go with some yellow? Let's go with some yellow. Just going to see if there is anything left on this brush. Not a lot. Okay, so one more stencil. I am not going to worry about these fine details because these are for, I think, if you're just using the stencil set alone. So I just need to, to do these leaves. And just for a little bit of variation, I think I might just go with a lighter colour on these ones. Just for something a little bit different. Is that green? Maybe. Looks like I may have an ink that needs re-inking. It's very light. Okay, I think we are almost there. A little bit more up here, maybe. Oh, wrong one. I can always come back and add some more colour off camera later. Right, that is our colouring done. Look at that. That is so pretty. So what I'm going to do now is, like I said, I think I'm going to keep this simple. This is just one of the Pink Fresh, I think they are, um, nesting dies. So if I was to go like this, that would work, wouldn't it? I know I'm cutting off some of my image. It doesn't worry me too much. I think we might go like that. Let's try that. Um, another piece of washi. Just give me a second while I run this through my die cutting machine. I just need to switch plates actually. So we've got a C plate, my image, a metal plate and another, another B plate. Okay, I'll be two seconds while I run this through. There we go, so that's going to fit now on my card base. Um, so we need four and a quarter. Okay, 
this is a very simple card but like I said this was mainly just to show you how you can use those um, better press plates another little tip that I have as well for you is you can see here this um, ink that I've used it's not actually a black ink it's pure graphite so it's you can see the difference it's more like a deep gray so this image is going to pop I think a lot more had I used a deeper black ink um, but I am going to fix that up later a little bit of um, deeper shading at the center here let's get this on my card base and I don't think I have any tape runner, so we're going to have to use some, some tape. in a mess too okay I do also have my little plate of sentiments over here and I'm hoping that that is going to be an easy choice is open the right way yet I think we're straight, look relatively straight. Yep, that's good. Okie dokie. Here we go. Sentiment time. So, can I use, I possibly could use gold, couldn't I? I don't like that font. You know what I could just keep it really simple and just use something like that um, did I have a pink one no there's a pink one maybe that might work I don't know if it's the right pink does it work we could kind of nestle that in here it's not quite the right pink but it, it might work or maybe we go black. Let's try black. Yep, black. There we go, I think. Yep. Wow, this would have to be the least thought out card I have done in ages. Sometimes I just agonise over stuff that doesn't need to be agonised over. I need some foam strips. Um, and I think think I think I might also pop some gems on this So I can nestle that just in here, that happy bit. I think, I think that looks pretty straight. Yep. Right, we'll just grab some sparkle. A little bit of sparkle. What have we got? Oh, I've got some pink. No, they're not the right pink. I kind of like these. These are a favourite. I always come back to these. These are the uniquely creative pearl um, self adhesives, and they are called the colour. Colour's called. Oh, um, I've lost a sticky. The 
the colour is called Chant Chantilly. Yeah, Chantilly. I'm going to leave that and I'll fix that one up later. Let's just move on. One. Two. Three. That looks like it's a little bit too low. Maybe up here. Three. Yeah, I think that's okay. So there we go. That is using our better press plates with our die cutting machine. So it's probably a little bit hard to see the impression here, but you could certainly see it when I flipped it over for you. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found some value in it. Um, like I said, I do just want to reiterate again that this isn't how the plates are intended to be used. So if you do this, um, this is a choice that, that you make. Like I said, I was completely happy to give it a go. So if you do give it a go, I would love to see how they turn out. Um, tag me on social media perhaps. But anyway, until next time, I will chat to you soon. Take care. Bye for now.